today's toy spot, we're going to be having a look at G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra, Snake Eyes, the Ninja Commando. Um, if we have a look at the packaging here, we have a really nice picture of Ray Park. Ray Parker? Ray Park. Ray Parker. It's one of those um, on the left-hand side portraying Snake Eyes. I think he was an excellent choice for uh, Snake Eyes. Although, uh, I'm still on the fence with the mouth. They've molded a mouth in his mask. I don't know, I... Eh. That could be where the crap starts with this movie. Um, but we have the G.I. Joe logo at the bottom left-hand corner there. Um, I, as I pointed out with the Duke, I really like the new G.I. Joe uh, font. If you want to call it a font, there's also the... Uh, uh, the color scheme is really nice. You know, they didn't... They didn't go with, uh, I, well, I guess it's very similar to what it was before. I mean, this used to be black, and then this was more like an orangey kind of starburst. But uh, I really like it. I mean, it's not just a basic square card either. It, it's got a little more contour to it. Um, on the back, uh, the other figures in the wave are Duke, Baroness, Storm Shadow, Destro, and a Neo Viper. Um, there's just a brief read up here on Snake Eyes. It says Snake Eyes is a ninja master and military commando who trains the G.I. Joe team in hand to hand combat. He received martial arts training in the Arashikaj clan and is the enemy of Cobra Ninja Storm Shadow. Silent and mysterious, this skilled ninja wears a visor that conceals his face. So there you go. I really like Snake Eyes growing up in the 80s. He, he was definitely a cool. He was a cool cat, that Snake Eyes was. Um, but, you know, one thing I'm surprised that this doesn't have, and I guess they've gotten rid of it, is the the flag points. Would have been nice if they threw flag points. Even if even if you couldn't use them for anything, it would have been nice just that they threw flag points in there as a, as a nod to the fans. But uh, there you go. I mean, there's the packaging on Snake Eyes. What I'll do is I'll open up the Ninja Assassin, or the Ninja Commando here, and we will get a closer look at the figure. And before we actually look at Snake Eyes himself, uh, we'll look at his accessories. Um, Snake Eyes comes with a backpack. Pegs into the back, as, it, as you know, all, all G.I. Joes do. Um, he also comes with a stand. Kind of bit kind of got that grid work going there. Kind of looks like a dog tag, although it much unlike the Duke one, it doesn't actually have a name or anything on it. And on the front, it says Snake Eyes. Rather interesting. Oh, and then underneath, it's got G.I. Joe. 2009 Hasbro, made in China. Um, he also comes with a rather interesting uh, rocket launcher. Now, all the figures seem to have a firing missile weapon. In this case, Snake Eyes has a firing missile, although he his firing missile comes with rope, so you can actually, it's like a grappling hook, which is kind of neat. Um, looking at the figure itself, though, um, it, the figure isn't bad. I kind of expected a little more from the figure, to be honest. Um, he's got that horrible mouth. I don't know why they molded it like that. Um, the visor isn't too bad, although the way it's a different plastic, so it almost looks a little off. And uh, obviously, it doesn't. You can't lift it. I don't think you can lift it. I'm not going to try to lift it in case I break it. Um, there is a bit of paint um, application problem on the side here. It's a little whiter. I really don't like that mouth, though. And uh, in the way of articulation, and he's got his trademark uh, symbol on, on his arm there. Um, in the way of articulation, he has articulation in the shoulders, in the elbows, also in the hand. Um, he has articulation in the torso. Although he can't really move it all that much, I guess, with all the accessories he's got on. He has articulation in the leg, in the knee, and also in the foot. Um, I don't know. He, Here's where I stand on this on the Snake Eyes, and I didn't I didn't notice this when I was doing the review of Duke. Um, there seems to be a quality problem I think with some of these figures. Um, case in point, and I really wish I had. I really wish I had uh, 
the 25th anniversary Snake Eyes with right here so I could show you guys a comparison. With the 25th anniversary, I found that all the accessories you could pull out, um, you could put knives in, you know, everything was... They took a lot of time and effort into it. The plastic also felt a little more substantial. Um, I find with these figures, at least the Duke wasn't so bad, but with the Snake Eyes, he feels really light. And uh, he, the plastic feels a little flimsier than the 25th Anniversary Snake Eyes. And it, it seems to me like they cut a couple of corners. Like, they could have had this... And it's a small gripe, but they could have had a pistol, this pistol come out of his holster. They could have had the knife coming out of the, uh, I guess the knife holster or whatever, up there. But they didn't. It's just a just a molded piece of plastic. It it, it seems like, and it, I don't know, it seems like they cut back the quality on these figures just because they were movie figures. Um, had these been a little more substantial, like 25th anniversary, I would have really liked it. Um, the Snake Eyes, though, is a bit disappointing, especially with the mouth showing. Um, overall opinions, uh, Snake Eyes isn't one of the strongest of the uh, figure wave. And it's a, it's sad, because I really wanted this Snake Eyes to be a good figure. But uh, would I pick them up? I, I would pick them up if you've got the other figures from the movie line, and you want to keep, you know, you want to fill them all out. Or if you're a Snake Eyes fan. But uh, the figure is a bit of a letdown. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. There you have a toy spot on the new G.I. Joe Revenge of Cobra Snake Eyes. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>